Hello guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how you can add a coin or a wallet to your Ledger Nano S. And this procedure basically is very very easy. After you have installed Ledger Manager on your PC, you just open this application. Then we have to connect our Ledger Nano S. And then it will ask you for your PIN code. So let me just put it in and I will be right back. Okay, after you have entered your PIN code, then you press both buttons to confirm. Obviously, you know this. And then you can see that the Ledger Manager opens with all the coins that you can uh, install or uninstall from your uh, Ledger Nano S. Here on my Ledger, you can see that I have Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Gold, Ethereum, and Litecoin and I don't have no more coins or wallets installed. So uh, the installation procedure is really easy. Let's say for example I want to add Digibyte. You just go and click this button here. It says installing. We have to approve allow ledger manager on my on our ledger nano s by pressing this button. Okay, it says installing application and it's done. If we look at our Ledger Nano S, now I have the Digibyte wallet installed in here. I don't know if you can see it, I, I hope you can. Let's say for example I want to add another wallet, let's say Pivex for example. We just click on here, it says installing, processing. Okay, it's done. This time it doesn't ask for confirmation because we approve the confirmation when we start the, uh, the Digibyte wallet. But if we unplug and plug again our Ledger Nano S, then it will ask for permission. And as you can see, I have the Pivex wallet right here on my Ledger Nano S. I really hope you can see it. And that's it. This is the this is the way you can add a coin or a wallet to your Ledger Nano S. Obviously, if you want to uninstall uh, a coin or a wallet from a Ledger Nano S, the procedure is really really easy. You just have to click on the other button here, which says removing application. Let's remove the Digibyte I have installed because I don't have Digibyte coins. And as you can see, the Digibyte wallet is not on our ledger anymore. Let's remove the PVEX2 because I don't want this coin or this wallet on my ledger nano s. Removing application. Processing. Okay. Now you can see that I have just removed the coins or the wallets which I don't want to have in my ledger nano s. And that's it guys. It's really really simple. Obviously if you have any question you can leave them uh, on the comment section and I will try to do my best to help you out. Uh, hope uh, I was clear about this. And thanks very much for watching and see you on the next one. Bye bye guys.